we're live. We've been like eight seconds in and it's just been ticking. I didn't even yes. see it. Hello, everybody. How are y'all? Hello, everybody. We're early today. Yeah, we're here today. <laughs> yes. We are, we are early and here. We got two things here. going for us. Yes. How's everybody doing in chat? How's everybody's weekend? I don't know if uh, my chat's my chat's not moving, so maybe nobody's in here and watching us. Yeah, my chat's not moving either. Oh, there we go. We got one. Hello. We got one. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh. We we've been sitting here for like 45 minutes, and we're just like, let's just go ahead and go live. Yeah. So we're glad to be back. Um, sorry we've been MIA like the past three weeks, but we're gonna try and get back into um. Maybe yeah. not every week, but every other week. Yeah, definitely. That just seemed to work. I'm oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Sorry. That just seemed to work better for us just because we've got, you know, kids and, and it's summertime and we both work during the week. So the weekend's like our only time to to see them really and hang out. Um, yeah, and we've been trying to get a lot of stuff done around the house. And obviously the weekend is the only time we can do it. So like today... I haven't even showered. I have no makeup on because we got new flooring in the bedroom and we've been working outside and doing all this other stuff. So literally like I stopped in the middle of what we were doing to hop on here, do this. So then I can when we're done, go back to what we were doing. So it's, right. it's a lot. Yeah. So, but we're glad to be back. So let's see who all's in chat we have. Hello, Katie Tucker, Nick Thompson. Dustin Hooper, Broken Ohm, Your Ghost. Uh, his name is Hopper. It's Hooper. It's H O O P E R. <laughs> Freddie B, James Bond, Leslie's Vaping. Hello, everybody. Take it away, Angela. Oh, happy birthday, Al Ban. He said I turned, he or she said I turned 58 today, so happy birthday. Happy birthday. Margaret, Next Phase New, Heavy Metal Vapor. Hey, Pookie. Uh, Paul the Trucker, PSS, Chris Higgins, Freddie B, all these people in here. <laughs> Hello. We, it's probably going to be a sl a, sm a sl blah, 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 blah. Did y'all grab all that? <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's probably going to be a shorter show. Mm. That's, a, that's a mouthful. So I got show. stuff I got to get back to before yes. I, like, I'm literally, like, running out of fuel. <laughs> and we only have three juices crap out any second now why'd you turn it down because i can't even hear it oh there's echo well i can't even hear okay let's see audio is there still an echo hello hello Clarice. it sounds like on my end anyway it sounds like it's breaking up a little bit like it's it's my thing right here this this tall drink glass of water right here <laughs> Uh, so the juice that we're doing today is called Nam's X2 or Times 2 or Yes, there we go And you can find this at myjuiceclub.com These are all um, 1998 and they come in 0, 3, 6 milligram flavors and they this particular line actually has quite a few different flavors in here but they only sent us three of them and we have what kiwi passion fruit nectarine cactus jackfruit mandarin and white peach raspberry yum they all sound delicious yeah um there's no on the the website there's no flavor profiles because i'm assuming it's white peach raspberry <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that that's the flavor. <laughs> oh, man. 1998 for these bottles? Mm-hmm. Wow. These are big bottles for, for that price. Are they 100 mLs? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's this big. <laughs> I can't, it's, it's the VGPG 7030, though. Where's the... I don't see the size on here, but yeah. This is probably like 100 mLs. No, here we go, 120. Ah, right there. 
this, oh, it is right there. Three milligram. <laughs> Usually I'm attracted to shiny stuff, but I didn't see the shiny stuff. I know, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, straight to the point. Straight. Yes. Anyways, you want to go so, to the first one? Yeah, but how has everybody else's weekend been going? What have you guys been doing? We haven't talked to you for a while. What is going on? Yes. How's your mom? How's your dad? How's your family? Your grandma? <laughs> we won't get into that, obviously. My, my family has been in Chicago this past weekend. I or this know. Past week. I, I, I should have met up with your mom. You should have. I know they went and did all the touristy stuff and i was like y'all should get angela while she's there to come hang out with y'all but um, i didn't even think about it and she messaged me too to ask me something and i was just like oh yeah i didn't even say like oh we should meet up or no <laughs> well since flights are so cheap maybe uh we can do it again hello black cat white face hello hello Ooh. Yeah, so my brother moves to Tennessee Tuesday, which nice. super sad about. But I guess it'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. So he wants he's they're thinking about having a birthday party for the um the toddler at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. and it was like, oh, you guys come down, and then when you come, you could leave Marcus, and then for like a week or two, and then when I come back. Um, to Chicago to clean up the old house, I'll bring him back. So I told him, I was like, yeah, we might fly. Cause I don't know if I want to drive home by myself for seven hours, like alone. And he was like, well, you could ride with mom. First of all, that ain't funny. <laughs> Second of all, I will never, ever, ever, ever go on a car ride that's longer than two hours with anybody over the age of like 65. No. Because you will have to take like 300 bathroom breaks and they are gonna drive at like 30 miles an hour. It's gonna turn into a 14 hour drive. Right. When I could hop on a plane for an hour and a half <laughs> and that'd be my, my whole travel time. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Give he's me a moving plane. to Spring Hill, Tennessee, which is like, I don't know. I, it was like 37.5 minutes from Nashville airport. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Spring Hill. Never been there. Which is like three hours from Memphis. So maybe I could like drop Mark off at ST's house and then go to my brother's house. There you go. Two birds, <laughs> one stone. All right. Hi, ST. Sorry. Here, here's your friend. Go play. <laughs> Take him. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bruce and then you never come back for him. Like leave him like a like a lost dog. Like just don't come back. Uh huh. That'd be that'd be good. That sounds, that sounds legit. <laughs> yeah, when are you coming to get Mark? What? Who is this? Do I know you? I don't think so. <laughs> prank caller. Prank caller. Don't call back. <laughs> Bruce Stanchek, happy anniversary. Glad you get to watch us live in the video flesh. Yes. Looking rough. <laughs> me too. Me. Looking too. rough. This is this is the real me, y'all. Raw and just bam. Hot ass mess. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hot ass mess. Oh man. All right. So let's try the first one. Which one should we try first? Uh, whatever one you want to try first. Uh, what? let's do the white peach raspberry. It works. You have enough of that left. Yes. I can't open it. So this one, you know, Heavy decided he was going to try it the other day on his show, um, probably a couple weeks ago, and he went to open it and drip it. Yeah. Spilt everywhere. Ruined his mat, all up in his keyboard. So like he had, like there's no lid on it. So he had to, um, gosh. so he had to like legit drip it. <laughs> so hopefully there's enough on here for me to taste it. It smells good. It does. It smells very peachy. So I'm using the El Thunder and the Ocula. La. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh. I'm using whatever the hell this thing is. What is hey. this? The E-Mask or something. I don't know. It lights up. 
I like that one. That one's pretty. Yep. And the heavy tip. Well, that's really good. I get a lot of the peach. Yeah, but then there's a little bit of that raspberry on the exhale, which I think kind of saves it a little bit because you get that funky, kind of hits you hard on the inhale. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> or it could just be me because I'm still getting over this weird cold that I had and my throat still feels funny. No, it's but, itchy. Yeah. But that raspberry <coughs> on the exhale saves it. I like the exhale. It's not bad. It sort of reminds me of a, a peach cooler. Yes. Yeah. Back in those the day when you should drink those peach coolers. Right. Coolers. Look, I got these peach coolers, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna get so drunk. <laughs> those were the shit back then though. They were so good. Yeah, they were. <laughs> yeah, I want one. Or even one of those frozen ones, the peach ones. Oh yeah, those are good too. I love the the red apple ales, but the peach ale is fucking bomb. Like, mm -hmm. I love it. Have you ever had that? I haven't had it. Oh, my gosh. And they have a peach ale and a blueberry ale. Those two are blueberry. delicious. I'll have to try the blueberry because I'm not much of a peach person. I'm not a raspberry person either. That's why I'm surprised I even like this sort of because I don't like either one of those flavors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand this dog, you guys. <coughs> this flooring is gonna be the death of me. I can't. I can't with her. I can't. Tap 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 tap. I can't with her. She's running away from Mark. She did Sir something. Loki, thank you for the donation. He says, "Hi, ladies. It's mine and Jamie's anniversary weekend. Well, oh, happy anniversary! Happy anniversary. Yay! How many years?" Are you guys old enough to remember way back then? Yes. I am uh, 35 years young. Right? Like, hello. I remember. They still have them. We can go get them right now. Right? I remember Mad Dog 2020. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's some... Oh, um, one time my mom was getting the roof done in our house that we had in Romeoville. And me and my brother... <laughs> I think I might have just turned 21 or I was still 20 and we paid somebody to go get us some mad dogs. But we <laughs> stood in our um, our garage and we drank them and we threw them away. And then my mom found them and my brother blamed it on the roofing people. And then she came home early from work and it was a Friday and it just so happened that these guys decided not to leave right away and stand out in our driveway and have a couple beers and we were like oh my god so my mom comes home and sees them drinking beers and i'm like oh my god she's gonna say something about the mad dog and it was totally us and my mom's a recovering alcoholic so it's not like we could be like oh lord you know but she told the guys like i don't want you drinking on my property and blah 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 and i was like oh like Whew. yeah <laughs> don't mention the mad dog <laughs> hello amy relish how are you she says hi nom nom is my favorite the pineapple sticky rice it's a die for i want to try that one that one sounds delicious yeah they they didn't i don't know this isn't nom nom though this is just <laughs> noms yeah this is noms here's the box um, times x2 or something not yeah. nom noms it's not the same yeah <clears throat> oh man wow i thought peach coolers were older than that i'm 47 i remember drinking them back in of my high school and puking. Yeah, good time. I think good that times. was everybody's like high school thing because it was easier to get. And a lot of times your parents had them because that's what they would drink like just sitting there. Well, and they were sweet and you know, everybody liked the sweet stuff. I remember yeah. taking Zimas and putting like either Jolly Ranchers or Skittles in them. <laughs> Zimas. <sighs> Zimas were the shit back then. I don't think I ever had a Zima. They're good. Did you see my new carbon I got? I know. I can't wait to get mine. I love it. I love it. Yeah. 
Does Nom Nom make a mango stick? You oh, you're asking about her, Amy. Okay, I say I have no clue. Yeah, I don't know. Should we try this next one? Which one should we try next? Cactus um, jackfruit. Which one? Cactus jackfruit mandarin. Yes, let's that try that one. <clears throat> Yum. Mm -hmm. I am using the Plan B collab box and the Nada with a heavy tip. I'm using the Wake with the um. <clears throat> What is this? The wasp nano, I think. Is what nice. This is. This smells something. good. I smell the tangerine or mandarin. Hmm. This one's good. This one is really good. This one's really good. I was worried about the. I was kind of worried about the cactus and the jackfruit, but I think the mandarin really gives it this this the mandarin is what makes this taste good <coughs> thank you Tyler rose for your donation love when i watch catch the show ladies well we're glad you all came and weren't like these bitches are lying again <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna be coming on at this time i know they ain't coming on these bitches <laughs> are liars <laughs> we're trying to make some stories because we haven't had stories the last couple times and i don't even have one this time <laughs> I don't think so. This one's really good. It's sweet. This one is really good. That mandarin is really, really good in this. It kind of makes, gives you that like, like you just bit into like a super juicy mandarin orange. Yes. <clears throat> I like it's this got one. like a, a weird flavor to it, but it's a yeah. good weird. Yeah. Yeah. He's got this freaking, I can't stand it when he has wide airflow because I hate wide open airflow. Well, you're using that nada. You can't get anything but wide airflow with that. I thing. know. Well, I'll close off the top too. We'll see. <clears throat> Much better. Oof. That is so good. Yeah, I'm liking this one. <clears throat> I will say I've tried this one because I've already vaped a good little bit of it. How do you like the Wasp Nano Angel? I really like this little this little RDA. I think it's. <clears throat> I like it. I didn't think I was going to because I feel like the 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 drip tip is so close to the um, coil and everything, but no, yeah, I kind of dig it. I like it. Is it a glass cap? Plastic. Plastic. Or whatever. <laughs> or maybe it is glass. I don't know. It doesn't feel like glass. <clears throat> I feel like we so anybody have any questions because if not we're gonna go super quick like super <laughs> super quick super quick because we technically only have one more guy yeah <clears throat> give me a story <sighs> what? give me a story <clears throat> a story a story about what how your life got turned upside down well i used to live in a rough neighborhood in west philadelphia <laughs> that's where you're born and raised yeah that's where i was born and raised and uh some guys started messing around causing trouble in the neighborhood there's a little scare uh, something wasn't right huh <laughs> what'd your mom say my, well my life got flipped turned upside down <laughs> oh so she said you're moving with your auntie and uncle and billy nice nice yeah sweet <laughs> Oh, I remember man. Cisco. That stuff was dangerous. I don't know what the hell that is. I've never tried that. It's acrylic. Yeah. Okay. That's it. It's like glass and plastic. <laughs> nice, nice. <clears throat> but that was a terrible story. Can I have another one for real? He's like, eh. Oh, it's today we're sitting outside and it's been raining kind of like all off and on all day here. Mm -hmm. So we... In front of our house, we have a little area set up where we have like rocks and stuff. So we've weeded all that. And then right in front of our deck, we have an area with rocks and stuff and we weeded all that. So we were just sitting kind of relaxing and we had gotten Marcus a uh, basketball hoop. So he was playing basketball a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this guy and this old ass lady are walking by like slow as turtles walking. 
And then they stop and say something. And Mark's like, oh, Lord, have mercy. So he goes down. And the old lady wanted to know if she could try to throw the basketball in the hoop. <laughs> Out of nowhere. I'm like... <laughs> So Marcus is just like, yeah, I guess. And she told she told Marcus, she's like, well, you go first. So Marcus threw the ball. And then she gets the ball and, like, is damn near, like, underneath it and just kind of, like, throws it up and barely, like, gets, I mean, it, yeah, total <laughs> miss. But then they left. Just as soon as they were there, they left. And I'm just like, what the fuck? How? Who does that? <laughs> hey, can I borrow your uh, basketball goal? I know. Can I try to sh make a basket? Like, what? You can barely walk, lady. Oh, my God. Uh, L. Nyland said, what would be your favorite mod? My favorite mod is, for right now, is the carbon. Or the dual. I mean, they, I love them both. You know, mm. they're the OG and the carbon <laughs> are, are my favorite. And I also, like, I still love my dreamer. Yeah. Um, mine is probably my um, my ass modus. I forgot what this is. I think the VS or 3S or something like that. But I'm liking this little mod that we did the review on. Mark did yard work. Yes, Mark and me both did yard work. We haven't weeded our yard probably for three years. Oh my gosh. Well, there was a lot to do. <laughs> and then we we like finished and we're like, look at how good this looks. Like we should do this more often. I know, right? The house no longer looks abandoned and stuff. <laughs> like, geez. We get someone to do ours, but it'd be nice if like uh we would do it, but we're just so lazy and Dude, we've been looking for somebody to do the yard work and you would think that we're like asking people to like build us a new house or something like i'm really like, why is it so hard to find people to do landscaping oh my god there's so many people here that do it like they're knocking on your door asking like if you have like a little bit of growth they're like you need your grass cut like we already have someone thank you though i know i'm like jesus christ you would think nobody wants to make money like we're not offering this for free we will pay you exactly <laughs> we don't Anybody want is in the chicago area like Angela needs a grass cut a grass like know. landscape in person I don't want to do it <laughs> Mark for the win on the yard work yes I do have a little story I mean it's not about me it's about Andy I mean it's not like <laughs> about bad about him but you know they um they were hiring a new person at um the shop um, and so this one girl came in for her interview and so they were going through their questions and, and they're like, so do you know about vaporized? And she's like, no, do you vape? Uh, -uh. do you know, do you still smoke? Yep. So she wants a vape position, doesn't know anything about the company, doesn't know anything about vaping. And she still smokes. I was like, well, is she going to, you know, quit smoking and try vaping? And no. No. It's like, okay. How, how can you sell that? How can you sell something to someone if you're still smoking? Right. <laughs> yep. Weird. There, there's, there's a, there's, yeah. It's there's like a vegetarian trying to sell me steak. <laughs> like, what does that steak taste like? I don't know. I don't eat meat. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah. Look at the marbling. What does that even mean? <laughs> Look at the marbling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. And Ricky Mahoney, do you, you cut grass? He says, I have over 300 accounts and I still never say no to a new customer. Yeah, dude, like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. We had one guy who was doing our lawn last year. And he came over finally, like last weekend. And we were like, okay, yeah, go ahead and cut it. So we gave him 20 bucks or whatever. And then he didn't even finish and he left. What? And then the guy that we had doing it for the last few weeks, we told him come every week. 
because it's been raining so much. We're like, just come every week. I don't want to have to try to call you and be like, oh, come this weekend. No, just come every week and mow. We haven't seen him in two weeks. Wow. We had a guy <laughs> like that at our old house. Like, we're like, we want you every two weeks. Like, our grass grows super fast. Come every two weeks. And he he would come and then wouldn't come for a month. I'm like, dude, we, we need you here. We're, it's like Snake Central back here. Yeah. But our guy now, he comes on, you know, every every two weeks and it's good. But we were while we were staying outside, we seen a a truck with like the <clears throat> little trailer thing attached to him. Yes, and it was yes. a landscaping people. And we stopped them and we're like, Hey, y'all got a card? <laughs> and so we called them and the guy's coming tomorrow to give us a uh estimate and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully we finally found somebody that's gonna come do them to do yeah because we want to redo the rocks that we have going on and we want to redo some stuff right and i just i i don't i don't want to <laughs> like i don't want to do it god this thing like it's hitting funny like it it'll i push the button and it won't pull you have a marcus there's your lawn person which is fine we don't have a lawnmower anymore right so Either we need a lawn person that has a mower or we need to go get a mower so that we have the 11 year old do it. But like, I might as well just do it myself then. If I'm right. gonna have it, I might as well do it myself. Yeah, our yard is so big that it's like, we'd have to get a riding lawn mower. Might as well just pay someone to do it. That's how I feel. Oh, PSS said, funny you say that. We went to my local vape shop today and staff standing outside smoking. I thought it was the oddest thing. Yeah. Like, how can you sell something if you're not promoting it? Right. If you're showing something else that, you know, you're trying to get off of cigarettes. Like, that. yeah. That's crazy. Ruler and a pair of scissors. <laughs> Sit in the military. <laughs> Ruler and a pair of scissors, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but shears, okay. So we have um, a lot of stuff that we had to cut and get rid of and all like all the cleaning that we had to do outside. So we bought some shears and stuff. Marcus picks those up and he's like, what can I cut? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Everything. <Put them> down. <laughs> <laughs> he come over here and cut. We've got this tree in the back that needs to be cut down a little bit. Our, our stuff on the, the front needs to be cut. Like, it was so bad. There was a couple, we have a couple weeds that are now tree, like legit oh trees that the stump is probably like that thick around. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah. Good and they're in like the worst spots. Like there's one that's like growing, like intertwined into our neighbor's uh, um, electrical box. <laughs> I'm like, we can't cut that. What if we hit a wire? I'm like, that wouldn't <laughs> be good. To, like, we had to, like, cut it, like, right at the top of the box. We're like, well, now it's just part of the box. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new fixture. There you go. <laughs> Matt Williams said there's a vape head shop here in Virginia. The dude that works there is spitting chew oh, into a cup trying to sell stuff. That's, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's nasty. The that's Illinois nasty. just passed... Um, uh legalizing marijuana so come january 1st it's not going to just be medical it'll be for like really recreation yeah wow so uh, we're moving to chicago andy said we're moving to chicago <laughs> <laughs> well you guys could just you know come up here and we right. could just sit on the sit on the deck and have some brownies and call it a day. That's funny because I just, I sent him a video the other day of like how to make different types of brownies and they have like this coconut pie. Oh my God, it looks so good. I mean, I don't do that, but it looked good. I was like, oh, if I did, that's what I would make. Dude, we, Mark had a friend that um, years and years and years ago that we used to go back and forth to, to Michigan, mm -hmm. like right when Michigan legalized it. And was going back and forth and he brought us back like this tub of butter and we made cookies and brownies and stuff with it that shit <laughs> Ooh. i was just like not a care in the world like my i think i was probably we were i was probably 24 
and my best friend at the time was 24 and just got her license. I let her drive my car and she hit a pothole and, and bent my rim. And I'm like, Oh my God. I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just tell Mark I did it. Like, it's fine. <laughs> like I was just, I, I could have got hit by a bus. It would have been like my fault. <laughs> my <laughs> fault. <laughs> like I was just, and then Mark's like, I can't believe you did that. I was like, you told me to eat the cookies. And then you sent me and her out to go get beer. What did you think was going to happen on this car ride? And he's like, well, you should have said you were too fucked up to drive. And I was like, I wasn't driving because I was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. <laughs> and my brother said that we had given him a couple of the cookies and he said that he ate one and he woke up the next day still all fucked up and high and like he had to sit down to piss and he's like, all right, Morgan, you got to go to work. You can, you, you've been high before. You smoke pot all the time. We can get through this. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Speaking of that, have y'all ever watched the Two Chains um, show? The most expensivest, I think it's called the expensivest. Most expensivest. The most expensivest. It's on Viceland. It is. It is awesome. He is the funniest <laughs> person ever. I swear to God, <clears throat> he he makes everybody feel so uncomfortable. It's hilarious. It it it's great. And uh, he's got a. Uh, can you say the the CBD from here? Yeah. Okay. He's got a CBD line out now. Nick Thompson. Said they also passed Tobacco Twenty One in Illinois. Yeah, they did that too. Yep. That's they crazy. That. They're also they're all they. My friend just posted all these laws that they passed. Some are kind of okay, and some are just ri ridiculous. Like, um, they're raising the tobacco, the nicotine tax. So for cigarettes and electronic cigarettes, the nicotine tax is going up, which already in Chicago, a, a pack of, I think a pack of camels is like $9.81. Holy crap. Yeah, a pack of camels, yeah. And so that's going up even more. And it was, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like, hey, you can go to war and you can vote but you can't make your decision if you can smoke a cigarette or not. Yeah. And I think or they even raised, they did something with the abortion law too. Like because of the other state that did that with the abortion law, what was it? Alabama or Tennessee it or was Alabama. Yeah. So they raised, <laughs> they raised or they changed our abortion law too to something weird. Like not as like crazy as you guys yours, but yeah, so something around those lines. I was like, "This is ridiculous." Yeah, like that's one thing I don't get involved in. I don't discuss anything politics because <clears throat> I have my, you know. Easiest way to piss people. Yeah, off. I don't like. I don't want anybody to hate me for my opinion, and I don't want right, anybody yeah, for their I opinion. Yeah, no, I don't really, really like to get into that kind of stuff either because I figure it's a whole argument, and you're not going to change other per people's beliefs and. Yeah whatever it is, but I right. think there's a lot of issues that the government just needs to keep their right. their hands out of. I agree. And that's the great thing about the, you know, about the world is you can have your own opinion. You can make your own, make up your own mind. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> two Chains missed an interview with Hot Ones because he ate too many edibles that night before. <laughs> really? <clears throat> his his show is so hilarious. Oh my god, it's great. Um, yeah, Illinois taxes are insane. Yeah, that, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, and like when you get your receipt, you see like sales tax one, sales tax two, sales tax three. It's like what the fuck is all this? Right. <clears throat> Just lump it into one so we don't get pissed off from seeing right. all eight million of them. You know, and I'm like, okay, this loaf of bread is going to be $2.99. I should be able to walk in there with like $3.25 and pay for it. No, I have to figure out all these other taxes. Right. That's insane. Like, do y'all pay tax for foods? 
Hold on. Okay. What? Are you done? Can you take her out? Uh, no, we got one more juice. Oh, uh, okay. She's like really bugging me for some reason. I don't know. She needs to go That's because I hit her bone and she's been looking for it. Oh, well, give it to her. No, because she's pushing it under the bed on purpose. Well, give it to her. She's going nuts in here. Well, she can figure it out till I'm done. Give it to her, bye. Bye. Sorry, what'd you say? Uh, uh, do, y'all, do y'all have to pay food tax? Yeah. Dude, we get taxed on everything. Everything. I wish they would pass that tax here to where they didn't do taxes on food. I know Florida doesn't have it. And it's like, wh- why do you pay taxes on foods? It's so stupid. Yeah. Unless you have the link card, then you don't get taxed on food. Yeah. Well, that's about it. Right. Not looking forward to their baby. It's I'm too dark there. outside for him to take her out, Vape and Bachelor. He can't take her out. Yeah. Hello, D Bone. Spring. We uh we're just flying by the seat of our pants. <laughs> yep. You wanna do number three? Yes. This is the Kiwi Passion Fruit Nectarine. Let's see. I'm using the hashtag eaten butt with the dead rabbit and a heavy tip. And I'm using the my Anakin Proton with the Asmodus, Asmodus As- something. Modus. I don't remember what this one was. Something. Oh. I really smell the passion fruit in this one. Yeah. I'm not a passion fruit that. person. I'm not either. We'll <laughs> see. We will see. Is it on? This one's different. I taste the kiwi. <clears throat> I get a better a better taste out of my nose. If I blow it out from my mouth, I don't I don't like it. I feel I taste the the pungenty taste through my mouth and then I taste more of the kiwi through my nose. Yeah. This one's it's not bad. But it's not great either. It's definitely not my one of my top two. It's number three. <laughs> <coughs> Shelly, I will give you this one. I will give you this one. I don't know if you'll like it, but I'll let you try it. Yeah, it's funky. It's like a... I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. I think that... It's the passion fruit. I don't know what... Yeah, obviously. Yeah, the passion fruit's really throwing it off. Like, I think it would have been better if it was like kiwi and nectarine and maybe like pineapple or something. Ooh, that would have been good. Like I said, it's a different flavor if I exhale through my mouth from when I exhale through my nose. I can deal with it through my nose, except for the whole leakage. I know. But, yeah, Shelly, you might like this. I'll I'll let you try it. The other two are okay. I I Definitely, the cactus jackfruit mandarin is my favorite. The white peach is okay. Yeah, so mine is the same. Like, the Cactus Jackfruit Mandarin is, like, my number one. Like, that one is bomb. I mean, I guess this one would grow on you, but it's not one that I would all day vape. No, there's something... I don't know. Maybe it is the passion fruit that's weird in it, but I don't know. It's not horrible. No. Definitely not horrible, but it's just it's weird. It's sweet. It's definitely mm-hmm. sweet. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, it's it's terrible vaping it through your nose, like exhaling, because then you have like all this stuff. Yeah, like cocaine nose. <laughs> Thank you, Tyler Rose, for the donation. He said, Brittany, you're right. Trix Mix is better vaped through your nose or mouth. <laughs> I don't know if you meant to add that to it. I like Trix Mix. That's really good. <laughs> I just vape through my nose. That's fucking gross. It is. It's all leakage. My battery's dead. Except if you're vaping a menthol and you have like a stuffy nose or a sinus problem, clear that shit right out. Yep. Yep. 
Bill or High Life, I, there's certain custards that I like, and there's others that I don't like. Like, I'm not a super custard person, but I there's the banana one is, is pretty good. Yeah. Angela, if you're using the bulk, I could diagnose your problem. What? Oh, Justin, cold? we're doing the Noms X2 line. There's a coupon code for it. We don't know it yet. or I don't know if they've emailed us back. It is this I, Saturday. I think it's the Vape Wives, all lowercase, all one word together. I yeah. think that's what it is. I'm waiting to hear back from them, but try it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, he said, I meant in general, you goofo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is good vaped. How else would you take it? Oh, are you going to drink it? I can't do finger tests. Like, tests. Uh -huh. I, my country just came out right there. Like, huh. I don't get a good flavor when I do the finger test. Yeah, Mark does that all the time. Just Yeah, they're like, let me just put on my finger. I'm like, what? I don't know. <clears throat> no, the bulk is awesome. Yeah. No, I don't know what Mark's problem was with... <laughs> his sweet phlegm issue that he was having but yeah pittsburgh vapes vapes mm. he says i love jupiter only custard i can vape that jupiter is fire yes it is it which is one? so good it's the out of this world line by paradigm right. so which what's the flavor of that uh, one the tangerine oh, okay so i just va i just finished okay i was vaping saturn for probably like a full week i think that's how long the bottle lasted me and at the very last day that I had it, Mark found out that it was like a peanut butter custard. And he was like, why didn't you tell me about this? Because it's mine. I'm like, because we've had like four bottles of this. And you saw when the box came in, like you rep Paradigm all the time, but you don't know their juices? Like, hello. <laughs> Jackass. Mrs. Angela, where are you? It looks like a hospital room. No, we we got new flooring in our bedroom and we rearranged our bedroom. So the bed is still not made because we're washing the blankets and we still got a lot of work to do in here. So and our camera's a different angle. It's usually towards the the door and now oh, it's yeah. towards we the We moved the the uh, computer to the other side of my um, makeup desk. It used to be right here and it would face the door. But now it's on the other side and it faces the wall. So that way Mark doesn't hit the, the computer and break it. Oh God. For when he falls over from sleeping sitting up. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, anybody have any questions for us before we get out of here? Like I said, it's going to be a quick show. We only had three juices. We don't have a shit ton to talk about. Um, and Angela's got stuff to do, so... Before um, I pass out. Me, I've got to go sit down in the living room and watch some TV. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to do that. I've been watching the Legacies. Like, and then the new Handmaid's Tale came back out. Oh, God. It is so good. That's on it's, Hulu, right? Yes. It's getting Ugh. ready to... It, it is so good. Oh, my God. I know. And I keep wanting to, like... <laughs> sign up for the free, free trial of Hulu, but like every time I sign up for one of those free trials, four years goes by and I'm still fucking paying on it. <laughs> but there's a ton of stuff on there that's really good. I know, like I told Mark, I was like, we need to just cancel Showtime and then get Hulu. Yes, yes. Have you watched, um, what is it, The Act yet? No, I haven't. I'm so, you know, because um, I saw the actual documentary from HBO, and I really want to see the Hulu what version. What the hell happened? What happened? It's what a happened? blank screen. Oh, here we go. Oh. Can y'all see that? And is it still uh, black? It's not black on my side. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's just look. I don't know what I'm doing. Did Mark lay the flooring? No. Watch because the glass. There's a there was a area in the floor, almost exactly like where this uh, 
broken part of Doris, like the same area on the floor, there was a um, a weak spot in the floor. So we had to have them fix that part of the floor too. When Mark fell. Oh gosh. Yeah. Leslie said she get a fire stick. We have the Roku, and because we had a fire stick to begin with, I wasn't a fan of the fire stick, but I, I like the Roku. Yeah, I think Mark. We have a Roku in Marcus's room, and then we just have the Apple TVs. Yeah. Which um, is just like a Roku. Right. The movie Glass. Have we seen it? I've never even heard of it. What's it on? What app is it on? Bailey's getting ready to bark again. She heard you not, or somebody knock something over. Oh, man. <clears throat> when, when is, is the, next, the show? next show? Sorry. Two weeks? Hashtag two weeks. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it every two weeks. Yeah. I think that works better for all of us. Yeah. yeah. Or us two, at least. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but us, it yeah. works better for us. Um, anyways, I guess we are going to call it a night. We thank you, everybody, for coming and hanging out with us and watching us. Sorry, it's not, you know, um, we weren't super, super talkative, but we, uh... Thank you guys for coming to hang out with us. We were, I wasn't sure anybody was going to show up because I was sure y'all were going to be like, these bitches are lying. <laughs> like... They lied to us. They said they were going to be here last week, and they didn't show up. No. We had a very good reason why. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> but anyways, thank you, everybody, for watching. Go. If you these sound, if these juices sound good to you, go check them out at myjuiceclub.com. Um, there is going to be a coupon code. I don't know when we're going to get that, but I've posted in the groups, and whenever we get them, I just post them on that same post. Yeah. How many times can I say post? I don't know. Post, 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 post. <laughs> All right. Everybody, have a good night. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.